Welcome to the Media Circus. Step right up and hurl your way to better decisions by landing on one of the five types of major cognitive bias. Check yourself before you wreck your family dinner with your really annoying cousin Mark. <gasps> Ooh. Knives? Aren't there knives in this segment? Here we go. Anchoring bias is the bias that you're relying way too heavily on the first piece of information, leaving no room to update or adjust your point of view with new information. For example, if you couldn't let it go that Pluto was a planet, even though it's definitely been scientifically downgraded, well, then you've got got by anchoring bias. I guess we'll still do the rest of these, even though that was the first most important one, obviously. Next up, blind spot bias. This one's fun because you see the bias in others, but you can't see it in yourself. Everyone wants to see themselves as a rational, logical thinker and will omit evidence to the contrary. For example, a politician criticizes his opponents for being swayed by money from lobbyists while ignoring his own loyalty to his campaign contributors. It's like you annoying cat people clearly have a thing against dogs and dogs are awesome and you're wrong. So you're wrong. Ooh, this is a big one. Confirmation bias is listening to and trusting only information that confirms your beliefs. It's like we live in this cocoon of positive reinforcement that no one can penetrate, i.e. your Facebook feed. <laughs> and the more ingrained the idea, the more likely we are to overlook salient points to the contrary. For example, when researching your favorite political candidate, you choose to seek out articles that speak favorably of them and ignore objective facts that say otherwise. <sighs> Interpreting information this way only supports our existing beliefs, and remembering details that only uphold these beliefs, we often miss important information. Isn't that right, Flat Earth? I'm a large goal with a dome on top of it. <laughs> Negativity bias. This is when you give more weight to negative information and events at the expense of positive or neutral ones. Are you drawn to more dark and depressing articles? Do you remember the bad times more than the good? Do you constantly relive that one time you humiliated yourself in front of everyone at the party? <laughs> Guilty. We also see this in political attack ads, focusing only on the negative. It can be a very persuasive technique that other shows wouldn't even tell you about because they're evil. And last but not least, outcome bias. Outcome bias is the bias that you're making a decision based on the outcome of a previous event without considering other factors. For example, if I flipped a coin and made important life decisions based on it and everything turned out well, I might think flipping a coin was a good decision-making tool, which it is. Best two out of three. That's better. And that's just some of them. Some reports list 17, 25, 53 different cognitive biases with Wikipedia listing 104. So rest assured, we're all biased. Here's a few ways that you can check your bias before it gets the best of you. The number one way to fight bias is to recognize you have it. Awareness. <laughs> it's that simple. Then consider the fact that you don't have all the facts and then do the research and get the facts. And there you have it. What did you win? This unused prop that I can't return from episode two, because I put my mouth on it. <laughs>